Hey everyone, I'm Asha Robles, and here's what happened this week on Trend Spotting. A threat made to shoot up a local middle school had parents outraged this past week, many even choosing to keep their children home from school. Parents are saying the apparent threat came from another student. They are now pleading for Guam DOE leaders to take action to keep their children safe. A PTO meeting took place Tuesday night where nearly 50 parents raised concern over a classmate of their children who threatened to bring weapons, harm a teacher, and allegedly shoot up the school. GDOE did release a statement stating that although the super Superintendent did not attend the meeting, two GDOE officials did. Also, any threats made are taken seriously and are, quote, investigated thoroughly and assessed based on our risk assessment protocol, end quote. Here's how online follower Patrick Teague responded on Facebook. He said, it all starts at the home. If parents were being parents and admonishing and holding their children responsible for their actions, you'd see less delinquents in the schools. The Navy has responded to a letter of concern from the Guam Preservation Trust regarding the historical village known as Magua and future developments that are a result of the programmatic agreement from 2011. While many items are still under discussion, the Navy must push development in order to meet the timeline and provide facilities and housing for the 8,900 Marines and their 9,000 dependents coming from Okinawa. We asked our viewers where they stand, and these were their reactions. Guam underscore Duck says, Where do I stand? I stand against militarizing the Marianas. I stand for tomorrow independence. I stand for unified Marianas. Shane Jade Aiden says, More jobs and more investment for our island. Potu says, How about the Navy sends the Marines back to America and their families and leave the island alone so everyone is happy? And John Angelo Paris states, I always wonder why they need to keep relocating here on the island. Meaning of isn't there abandoned areas owned by the military, why can't they use it? I'm just wondering. The abandoned area in Back Road, doesn't that belong to them? Thieves couldn't steal their Christmas spirit. 700 children in the Mungmung Toto Mighty community received presents and 15 wind bicycles from Santa Claus and the Tri Village's annual tree lighting ceremony on Saturday. All year long, the MTM Municipal Planning Council fundraised to purchase gifts for this event. Days prior, however, burglars stole dozens of toys that valued at $1,000. Thanks to generous donations from residents and businesses, the event became a huge success. The online community expressed their feelings about this event through comments. White Girl 80 says, Creative Christmas tree. I feel bad the children had to experience such heartless acts from people like that. Bunch of stealers. 671 Thread says, Love how the community came together to make this possible. Proud to have grown up in MTM. One post that excelled amongst the rest this week and year was that of Zach Banner. Videos and photos sent by Jessere Moylan of Zach greeting his fans before the Steelers vs. Patriots game gained nearly 3.5 thousand likes on our Instagram page. Zach plays offensive tackle for the Pittsburgh Steelers, and our Instagram fans showed their love through the comments section. Check it out. That's it for now. We'll see you guys next week.